What's going on guys, today we're showing you how to make a uh, like a sample Rilo Rodriguez kind of type beat uh, Like kind of what he would do when he samples beats, I mean when he samples songs So let's get into it So uh, the song I chose is uh, Lost Boy from Root B You might know it, if you don't, then you don't So what I did first is I uh, got the sample, you know, I figured out the BPM and the uh, key Which is G major I think And uh, the BPM is uh, 64 So what I did is I just uh, just doubled that, uh, 124 But after that I pitched it down What I did after I pitched Pitched it down was I just put some EQ on it, cut out the lows so that the 808 had some space to hit, and then uh, it sounded like this. There was a time when I was alone, nowhere to go and no place to call home. Like I said, I just took out one part that I like, and then what I did is at the start of the song, there's just the simple chords, and what I did is I just um, took those chords and uh, just looped those chords, so these here. As you can see, just looping that all the way through. What I also did is I took this part right here, put it here again so that added like a little bit of bounce to it. And it sounds better with the drums on it. Now it sounds a bit kind of weird, but when the drums on it, it's just it's it sounds good. Trust me. So what I did after that was uh, I did the drums first actually, but I'll just show you the parts at the bottom that I did. So what I did to do these parts down here is I copied this over, and what you can do is you can make unique. So I did that, and then uh, as you can see, these are all unique down here. And what I did with these was I pitched these up 600. And what I did is uh, I took this part here and I just pulled it out, and then I just have the this part here, and then I just like took some parts like this here, and then put that there and there. Just like that sample kind of effect, you know, you just got fine parts and piece them together and then like like just chop it up you, You'll know what sounds good. So this is how this sounds And like as you can see now it just it sounds way too choppy But when the drums are on it, it will just it will flow way better not to forget what I also had is I had a love filter that was only on uh, these uh, second parts, the pitched up ones. Also, the pitched up ones have some reverb on it as well and some delay. So yeah, after I had that, I went into the drums and I started off with a simple clap. After that, I added a hi-hat, simple just bouncy pattern. Next up I added this uh, 808, also on the other drums I had no effects on them, then this I also had just a tiny bit of EQ. Also added this open hat. Then I added this uh, like little open hat that comes in the middle and at the start. Added another uh, open hat. And then, like, another, like, little, uh, just like another little perk thing. I added quite a lot of sounds in this one. Also, added a crash. That has just some reverb and delay on it. And then uh, last thing, obviously the kick, just to get that bounce. And yeah, and then together with the bottom parts, you can listen to that again now. It sounds uh, quite a bit better. So this is how it sounds now. And one night as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high. What I did after that was uh, went into the uh, verse, so that's for me the hook. Uh, there I added a snare. Uh, on that snare I just took out some of the lows and uh, that's it. And uh, as you can see here, what I did 
for the like I wouldn't call it a bridge but like just the start of every verse I added a bit of the song again so what I did here is I layered the pitch down and the pitched up vocals and then uh, I just took another part of the song to listen he came to me with the sweetest smile told me he wanted to talk for As you can see again, then I just uh, replayed that, just like cut that, chopped that up again, that Peter Pan blah blah stuff, and just like repeated that around here all again. On this part, it's the same thing, just repeated, and then uh, yeah, just that whole thing repeated, and then back into the hook again. And then what I did here is I just took a, another part of the song, and then I just flipped that in here again. So. Yeah, and then I just took those two parts again, put them all over, and then uh, for the last part, uh, this is like the bridge, I guess. I just um, just put in the chords again that are going through everywhere anyway, and then I just put in two different samples, and then I messed a bit with the love filter effect, and then hook back, and then that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's pretty much just the whole beat right there. That's how I did that. Um, there's other ways to sample. I'm not saying this is the only way. There's, there's loads of ways you can like sample beats. This is actually kind of a weird way, to be honest. But uh, that's how I did it on this one, just because the BPM and all that fitted pretty well. If you know the BPM, you can always uh, just like uh, stretch it to the right BPM, just so you know that. So that's how I did that. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Check out my other beats, my other tutorials. Check out my main channel. Subscribe here and there. And peace.